Hi guys, um, it's me again. For those of you who watched my introductory video, thank you so much. I had such an amazing turnout and such great responses. I never would have thought that I got those responses. Um, this video is a haul. It's my first haul ever and I just wanted to share with you guys a few things from what I bought the other day. Um, last Wednesday and Thursday, I think it was the 18th and 19th of November, Priceline had a 40% off sale and I took great advantage of it <laughs> and bought a few things from Priceline. I also bought that day a few things from Chemist Warehouse and Trade Secret and I would love to share them with you guys. The first thing I have today are some All About Eve shorts. These shorts I got from Trade Secret. Season. They're just nice floral shorts for summer. I would plan on wearing a white top with these ones. It's for $12.95 um, and they're probably down from $30 to $40. The second thing that I got is from Chemist Warehouse. Chemist Warehouse isn't too cheap but it is cheaper than a normal chemist. And the second thing that I got today, I bought two perfumes. This is one of them, is Britney Spears Believe. Um, it comes in a box like this. And it smells amazing. I really love this one. It's such a different scent for me, but I still really like it. Um, this is the little jar that it comes in. And I think it was 100 ml. 100 mils. $20 for 100 mils. I'm happy. I've run out of so many perfumes this year because I haven't bought any myself. So I am cheering with the bargain that I got. The second perfume that I got is the, I think it's Jennifer Lopez and it's called Still. It just says Still on the middle and it comes in a little bottle like that. Um, this one was 100 mils as well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 100 mils and it was $20 as well. So my two perfumes were bargains for me. I loved them so much. The next thing I bought from Chemist Warehouse, I'm just going through Chemist Warehouse first, um, were pore strips. These pore strips, yes, I could have gotten them from Priceline, but I totally forgot, um, are the best. These ones have a charcoal texture, and I used these the other day, and they worked really well. I don't know whether I could just tell that more pores came off because it was black or whether um, it did actually work more but I, it really worked well the other day and these ones I just use it normally. Five dollars each and there's six strips in them. Um, I love my pore strips because they are so easy to use. All I have to do is take out my nose piercing and away you go. So the last I guess well, the pore strips I have used before and perfume is perfume. But from Chemist Warehouse, I did buy this leave-in conditioner. It's from Alchemy. And um, it is basically all natural. It's paraben and sulfate free. And if you haven't read my blog, you should definitely read my blog. But I do, I do have a hair segment in there of things that you should avoid. And... I read through the ingredients before I bought it and it has nothing that um, I try to avoid. So I bought it to leave in conditioner and I've used it once or twice. It feels really weird putting it on but as always anything natural um, it feels a lot different because it doesn't have those, I guess those chemicals and those ingredients that make your hair feel soft instantly. This one I've put in a few times and after a while my hair does feel soft. I don't know if it's had a difference in my um, ends or anything like that but I will see over time and I'll let you guys know. Leave-in conditioner was $16.69 to be exact um, and Alchemy has a whole range of things. They have face wash, they have a whole heap of things. So have a look at this brand if you're looking for natural um, hair products, natural face products. The next thing that I bought is a Christmas gift for someone. It's not exactly for me, but I thought it was a great Christmas gift. Um, and this one, it was from Priceline. It is Natio's. It's like a little clutch. 
and it comes with powder and a powder brush. Um, I thought it was such a good idea. The little clutch is so cute and I just thought why not. It's something, it's already packaged, comes in this cute little box, such a cute little gift and I think I'll give it to my, one of my stepsisters or one of my um, cousins because they would love it. Next thing that I bought is a setting spray. It's Models Prefer. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just a makeup setting spray. It's called Final Makeup Setting Mist. I never was really keen on setting sprays just because I never really had one, but I did want to give this a go and I used it the other night and it was amazing. My makeup stayed on so nicely and um, it didn't blotch or anything like that. So it was only $9. As I said though, Priceline did have a 40% off sale. So it might not be $9 now. It shouldn't be too much more. The thing that I bought was a contour kit. I could not get the stickers off. I probably can now, but when I bought it, I had nails on, so I couldn't get them off. It's just a little contour kit. It's called Glamazon. It's Face of Australia. Um, I got this. I do have a few other contour kits, but I got this one just for on the go because it's so little um, and it's so cute. The contour kit was $5, probably nearly $6, basically $5.95, uh, but it was so cute and I just had to get it for on the go type issue. If you've read my blog, you know that at the moment I do have eyelash extensions on, um, but before I got my eyelash extensions, I used to wear these eyelashes all the time. They are Allure, Eyelure. I have a few different ones. These are just the ones that I bought the other day. They weren't on sale. These ones were not on sale. Plus, I only had a 40% off discount thing for cosmetics. But I still got these because I just I can't, you can't have too many eyelashes. These ones are, are, you can see, the lengthening ones. And all and they have a step-by-step -step instruction on the back um, these were I think $12 and I have I've bought the thick and the volumizing ones I've bought everything the lengthening ones are good for everyday use or um, for if you're going to some party during the day rather than night time I have a few other eyelash eyelashes from this brand I will do a video of my favorite eyelashes from the brand and of my favorite type so at the moment, and this is exactly the same foundation as what I'm wearing right now, um, I my favourite foundation is the Infallible 24 Hour Stay Fresh Foundation by L'Oreal. So that. Um, so that one. It, my colour is 120 Vanilla. I am quite light. And when I have a tan, I still, like the makeup still sort of suits my skin. This infallible foundation is normally nearly 30 bucks. So it was really good to get it. I got, I got it for 19 um, when the price I had their 40% off sale. So it's really good foundation. It lasts so long and it goes on so nicely on my skin. Because I have freckles, you can see my freckles. It doesn't completely cover them and it doesn't have a caked look, but it does cover them enough for me to feel nice about my freckles. Except I've really liked using this. I've used this probably nearly three bottles so I'm guessing maybe for six months now and I've really enjoyed it my skin is still clear as well I don't get many pimples and I wear my makeup nearly every day so it's really good I really like it I do recommend the infallible 24 hour foundation by L'Oreal the next thing that I got was an eyeshadow palette it was just it's just called face of Australia naked I have used it so it's really dirty but honestly, it just, I will open it and show you. Those are the colours that you get. Um, they're just beiges and browns. So I'm a beige brown gal. I'm a very plain makeup person. And I don't really go bold, so beige and browns are my favourite eyeshadow colour. As mentioned it was Face of Australia. I really love Face of Australia things if you haven't noticed. It's just called the Naked Eyeshadow Palette. The next thing that I got and I think, I don't know if it was my best buy but I really did need some, were some makeup brushes. These are Nude by Nature. Um, the only two 
different types of makeup brush brushes I will use are Nude by Nature and Real Techniques. Um, I have trouble trying to find really good makeup brushes, so I find that those two brands are my favourite at the moment. This is just the professional blush kit. It comes with all of the brushes on the thing. It comes with a kabuki brush, a defining blush powder brush, deluxe eyeshader, domed eye blending brush, concealer brush, dual headed eye definer and lip brush, and a precision and the sharpener. I think it was really good for me to buy this. It was on sale, but because it wasn't a cosmetic, it wasn't 40% off obviously. The brushes were seven, nearly $18, but I'm pretty sure they were down from 30 or something. So I thought it was a really good buy and I'm really happy with me buying these. The primer I used is the Face of Australia Primer. This is the with Vitamin E and Chamomile Face of Ch Face Base Primer and it's of course Face of Australia. I really like this primer because it doesn't leave my skin oily, it doesn't leave my skin too shiny and I use it correctly. I also chose the primer. They have two different types of this one. One has SPF in it, but I choose not to use the SPF one because I don't want to get SPF under my eyes. The SPF is very, very, very um, harmful to the skin around your eyes because your eye skin is so thin. It came down to $7. So I was really happy with that. I haven't run out yet, it's just something, it's exactly like my foundation. I just thought I'd buy it because it was on sale. Now, this I think is a was a really good buy for me and it's the L'Oreal, you're not gonna be able to see it, I don't think, but the L'Oreal um, Telescopic Mascara. Now, I've never used this mascara before and I haven't used it yet because I still have my extensions in, but I've heard such wonderful things about this mascara. Look how pretty it is. It even looks so beautiful. It has that type of head on it. I really love these types of wands because they don't clump as opposed to the real thick ones, the ones that clump. This mascara, I think it's normally $30 for $16.17. So I was so happy to buy it. I think it's going to get some wear and tear and I'm probably going to have to buy it again later on. But yes, it's in the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. That was my Priceline Chemist Warehouse and what else? Um, and Trade Secret Haul. I have one more thing that I want to show you and I haven't used it yet but I really wanted to show you because I think it's so beneficial for every person with hair that they want to look after. Hello Hair. Hello Hair is amazing. I'll just pop it up there. I think the one thing that I've been scared of by using different hair products and hair masks especially are the ingredients because I don't want to use anything that has silicon. If you have a look at my blog, it explains everything. Art Hello Hair is made out of natural ingredients. I opened it, it smells like coconut oil. I absolutely loved it. It is so pretty. I absolutely adore it. You can get it online um, and it's $15 for one. It's this should, I think it says they should last for four, four treatments. And it's such a cute little thing. It has the ingredients at the back and everything like that. It smells exactly like coconut oil. It's made out of so many different oils. It says coconut oil, olive fruit oil, sweet almond oil, castor seed oil. There's no parabens, no sulfates, nothing. It's all natural. They have another one for people allergic to nuts because this one does have nut um, oil in it. So they do have another one for nuts. I'll put in a link below to their website because it's absolutely amazing. And um, for its shipping, I don't think it costs for shipping. There's no cost for shipping within Australia. I'm not too sure about internationally. And they come within like two to three days. It's amazing. So definitely have a look at it. It's called Hello Hair. I haven't used it yet and I will do a review on it when I do use it. But I've heard such good things about this brand. That is my haul. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you take in a few things that I've bought. I really enjoyed 
buying these things and I've really enjoyed doing this haul with you guys. Comment what, comment what you think, comment your thoughts, don't forget to subscribe if you really like my channel. I know it's still fairly new but um, definitely, definitely subscribe. I'd be more than happy to reply to your comments as well if you've got any questions. And have a good day, guys. Um, thank you for watching again, and I'll speak to you very soon. Don't forget to check out my blog.